Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul from April 5th. Uh, this was a church rummage sale that I went to. This was the second time I've been to it. First time I went was last year. And last year I was really hopeful because it was in um, more of a high-end town about half hour, 35 minutes from here. So I figured, oh, you know, I'm going to find really good stuff there. And it was kind of disappointing. Um, but I was debating on whether to go back this year. There wasn't much else going on that particular day. So I said, okay, fine, I'll go. Um, I did better than last year, I think. But it was still kind of eh. Um, I spent about 45 bucks And had a decent time. Again, it was... This particular sale is so claustrophobic. They have way too many tables in this room. It's a decent sized room, but they still put too many tables in there. And you actually spend half of your time, instead of looking at stuff, you spend half your time trying to maneuver around other people and people are get frustrated. And so that part of it's not fun. But um, I did have fun, you know, finding things. A uh, few things I probably shouldn't have spent money on, but I think, you know, we all do that. So let me jump in and show you. There weren't any good stories about this one. I think a few of us were resellers in line and were talking before the sale, and that was it. No nasty Roman sale ladies, no drama. Um, so I bought a few kind of knick-knacky things. I got this little snail from Lennox. This is from their uh, China Jewels collection. If this would like to focus at any time today. There we go. Do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. <laughs> there we go. This is from their Lennox China Jewels collection. Um, it just has this gold with these enamel dots on it. Really not worth too much. I paid a dollar for him. I think I have him up for $16.99 with free first class shipping. I'm starting to phase out of my free shipping. I'm, I do it on a lot of first class stuff, but a lot of priority stuff I'm not doing it on. So I may be a little off with these prices because I might not be able to remember which ones have free shipping and which ones don't. Uh, I got this little Hallmark uh, Omur, um, bleh, Omura doll. This was a line that they did, um, I think a few years back. I don't know if it has a date on it. No. But that's the mark on the bottom. I bought a bunch of these at a rummage sale, I'm going to say like a year and a half ago, and did really well with them. I got them for 50 cents a piece and sold them all for $13.99 with free shipping. And this was already in my system, so that's pretty much why I bought it. And this one cost me 50 cents. So again, I think I have her up for $12.99 or $13.99 with free shipping. And then I was happy to find this little girl. She's a Napco vintage Christmas planter. And she had a 25 cent tag on her. And I was like, ooh, 25 cents, that's a deal. So I put her in my bag. Did not realize till I got home. I don't know how I didn't realize it. But she is really broken. I mean, it's like completely obvious. Whoever fixed her did not do a great job. However, um, these in good condition go for around 30, 35 plus shipping. So I figured I was going to put her up there anyway. Uh, it says Napco on the bottom, 1956. So I put her up and I put uh, repaired and then as is in big capital letters in the title. And took really good pictures, explained what had happened. And she's up at auction for $9.99 plus shipping. And I have three or four watchers on her right now. So I'm pretty confident that she's going to sell. Uh, next up are these two eggs. 
Of course I didn't get these up before Easter. I don't even think I have these listed yet. No. Most of this stuff is listed, I think, except these. I got these two Russian Easter eggs. This one is a uh, Madonna and Child. These are wooden eggs. And then this one, I believe, from my research, and if I'm wrong, please let me know, um, is St. Nicholas. And this one has a beautiful cross on the other side. This one has a cross, too. And it has a little ding right there, but that's the only thing wrong with it. And both of them come with little wooden stands. So I paid four bucks uh, for both of these, you know, together. And I'm hoping to get, I think, like 15 to 20 plus shipping out of each one. Then I got, well, of course, I went to the table where they had the perfume last year. I didn't do great there with perfume last year, and I did even worse this time around. The only thing I could find was this tube of Niven Morgan Gold Hand Cream. Four ounce tube, never heard of it before. Um, paid, how much did I pay for this? A dollar for this. I think this is up for like 15 for shipping, somewhere around there. Uh, then I found this deck of Angel Oracle cards. Not the same as tarot cards, so I didn't put tarot in uh, my title. Oracle cards and tarot cards are two different things, which I learned from doing research on these. Um, these were a dollar. There's 44 cards in here with the booklet that tells you how to use them, and these are selling pretty consistently for like 13 with free shipping. Then this I thought was really cute, but then when I got home realized that there was a thousand of them on eBay and, um, you know, I'll be lucky to sell mine probably. But this is a vintage, well I don't even think it's vintage, it's just a leather case with four little stainless steel shot glasses inside of it. And then it had this in it, which I don't even know what this is and I don't think it even goes with it. But it has these four stainless steel shot glasses unmarked so I bought it for a buck and then I came home and realized that everyone and their mother is selling these uh, and a lot of them are coming from China not cases not with cases as nice as this one but they're selling for like you know seven bucks with free shipping so I put mine up for uh, $10.99 free shipping and we'll see what happens I might have to lower the price down the road I don't know but it was funny when when the lady um, was looking through my bag to add everything up, she took that out and she opened them up and she saw there were shot glasses. She goes, oh, oh my God, I love these. She goes, these are fantastic. And she kind of looks at me and she goes, because you know, I'm a drinker. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Good to know that, you know, you can go out and find some travel shot glasses so that you can, you know, drink on the run. Um... So, that was interesting. Uh, then I got this set of two Longaberger pewter sculpted snowflake ornaments. I'm not sure what year they're from, but they're real nice heavyweight pewter still in the box. I believe I paid a dollar for these. Yes. And I think I have them up for, I don't know, around probably 14 to 18 with free shipping. Um, I found another Beleslawick uh, spoon rest. This is uh, the Polish pottery that I always buy. This was also, I think, a dollar. Oh no, this was only 25 cents. So this was a deal. I think maybe they thought it was broken. <laughs> Because it didn't have a handle on it. But it's not. They made spoon rests that were like this. And then they made you know full length ones with a, a handle on the end. So um, can't find this pattern name or this exact design anywhere on eBay. So I'm hoping that helps. I think I have that one up for 
16 to 19 with probably free first class shipping. Then I paid too much for this little guy. This is um, like a ultrasonic humidifier air purifier diffuser gizmo. This is what it looks like. It's a volcano style. The top has an LED color changing light so it can also be used as a night light and then you can put essential oils in it if you choose so that you know can you can do the diffuser thing. Um, I have it up for $22.99 with free shipping and don't know what it's going to do. If it doesn't sell, I'll probably give this to my daughter. Um, the good thing about this one is it's, it's very small and it has a, a USB plug so you can either plug it in, into your computer or it has an adapter so you can plug it into uh, an outlet. Then in the craft section, the only thing I could find, there's no cross stitch, no nothing. It was pretty pathetic. I found this um, MFA curtain pattern. This is the rod pocket swag. It's uncut. It's in you know brand new condition. I have purchased a lot of these MFA curtain patterns before, and I've always sold them, no problem. I think I have this one up for twelve or thirteen dollars with free shipping, and I have watchers on it, so pretty confident that will sell. In the game section in one of my previous think sales updates that you guys are going to see before I upload this one uh, I bought a travel game called Yikers it's a magnet game um, it has all those silver like hematite looking uh, magnetic rocks there's like 20 of them and these little triangular pads that are the supposed to be the game boards and there's a whole bunch of ways you can configure these game boards and a whole bunch of different games you can play with this magnetic game. I paid two bucks for it because I looked it up on eBay and I saw the sold prices and I was shocked. I sold it for $35.99 with free first class shipping. So, not too bad. And in that same section, I also got these playing cards. These are from Waddington's, uh, made in England. I mean, you can tell by the name. I mean, how English is Waddington's. Um, these really pretty Art Nouveau swans on the backs of the cards. And then found out these are, if you can, it's hard to read with this font, but these are Shakespearean playing cards. These were. Um, a set that was first done in the mid 20s I think 1926 I can't remember the guy's name who designed them but he did these cars based on Shakespearean characters this set I believe even though it's not dated I believe this is the repro set from 1978 and just really cool decks of cards so paid I think a buck for these. I'm trying to find them here. And of course I can't. Oh yeah, paid a dollar for these. This set looks like it hasn't been used at all. This one has a little wear on the edges. Um, I think I have these up for 15 plus shipping at auction. No bites yet, but we'll see what happens. I'm sure if it doesn't sell at auction, it'll eventually sell as a buy it now. Then I went to the Christmas section and I found two Christopher Radko ornaments. Not as great a profit as I was hoping on these two. I paid three for this smaller one. These were both sold by QVC. The reason that I know that is because on the barcode back here it says QVC. And this one Oh, good lord. Hold on. Okay. This one is called Millennium Cheer, I believe. Yes. Um, obviously from the year 2000. With this banner that goes around the Christmas tree, this is Happy New Year 2000. 
and Santa's got a big bottle of champagne that says um, 2000 on it. So I think I have this one up as a buy it now for 17 plus shipping. So like I said, not the best profit on a Radco ornament, but I should still make money. And then this one cost me 5 also from QVC. The one I just showed you has the original hang tag with it, but no uh, COA, no certificate of authenticity. This one has both the hang tag and the COA. This one's called Santa. Is it Santa? Oh no, this one's just called Trima Trio. Um, and it's got Santa in a sleigh with his elf, big Christmas tree in the sleigh, and then there's a little snowman laying down here in the back. That one I have up for 25 plus shipping. So I'm going to have to do some research, see if the QVC ones, maybe they were more mass produced than the other Radco ornaments. Uh, I'll have to check and see if they you know, all sell consistently lower than the regular Radco ones. I don't know that, but I'll have to find that out. Um, in the book section, the only thing that I bought was this Betty Crocker cookbook, the binder style one. Uh, I think it's from the early 80s. Paid a buck. Don't know why I bought it. Because, I mean, the market for these has tanked lately, so I might make only, uh, thinking 15 with free shipping, maybe. So I'm probably going to hold off on the Betty Crocker cookbooks, unless they are the pie cover, which I've showed you guys before, which still consistently, for the most part, sell pretty well. Uh, then I went to the, they had a jewelry section, and on the jewelry table, I think they had their things that they they thought of as, you know, boutique -y. So I went over there to take a look, and I saw this box and opened it up and it's a doorbell. I'm like, okay, well I've never bought a doorbell before, so let's give it a shot. This was um I have to find this was two bucks. In the original box has the original screws, information about the artist. Um unfortunately this gentleman has since passed away I think this dates from, oh, duh, the date's on the back, 2004. <laughs> um, this is the triple heart, or three hearts, here we go, three hearts buffed lighted um, doorbell. I have this up for 30 at auction plus shipping. No bites yet, but this is more of an obscure thing, but I know that it will definitely sell. Uh, at some point if I have to flip it over as a bite now, so I'm not worried about that. Then, um, I found this little guy. This is a, I'm going to say Mooka because there's a cow there. Mooka Express by Bialetti. It's a cappuccino maker. Actually, let's, oh, I was going to put it on the English side, but there is no English side. Um, where is there? Oh, there we go. There's some English. It produces Italian-style cappuccino or latte. Um, has an automatic timer, so it switches itself off. It's an electric cappuccino maker. It's brand new in the box. It has a DVD that comes with it. I looked up the prices on these and was very pleasantly surprised. I paid 12 bucks because it was brand new in the box. But right now it's up for 80 with free shipping, I believe, I think. Um, I've had a lot of people look at it, but no watchers yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep it where it is for a little while. And then, you know, if it doesn't, if I don't get any watchers or any action on it in a couple months, I'll probably put best offer on it or I'll drop the price a little bit. But what frustrated me the other night was, and this drives me crazy with things, especially when I don't have best offers on them. If I had best offer on things, then to me, that means I'm willing to negotiate. If I don't have a best offer on things, to me, that means the price that's on it is the price that's on it. I think that's common sense. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but that's my opinion. 
Uh, and I had somebody, of course, <laughs> send me a message and go, what's the lowest price you'll take on this? And I so wanted to go back at him and go, the price that's on it. <laughs> but I didn't. I counted to like, you know, 20 or 30 and then messaged them back and said, you know, unfortunately, I just listed this item and, you know, at this time, I'm not, you know, lowering the price, but thank you very much. And, oh, you know, had to sound professional instead of being snarky. Um, so I know, you know, I'll definitely get my money's worth out of that, whether I get 80 or, you know, maybe 60, I don't know. But right now it's at 80. Uh, and then in near their holiday section, a little past their Christmas stuff, I saw this box standing up and it had masking tape all over it, like in a crisscross um, pattern, so these things would not fall out. And I knew what they were right away. These are um, Eddie Walker from uh, Midwest of Cannon Falls figurines. Back when I started, let me try to find one that, where you can actually see the sticker. There we go. Back when I first started on eBay, uh, Eddie Walker figurines were extremely collectible. And I bought a bunch in a, rum or a garage sale really cheap. And sold them for a whole bunch of money, and you know that really encouraged me to keep going with eBay. Since then, you know, fast forward 10 years, and the prices on these are not fantastic. However, this is a whole set for Thanksgiving, and it was only five bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. Unfortunately, uh, there is one piece missing from the items that go on the table because there's a turkey and corn and a and something else. Oh, a loaf of bread. There's supposed to be a pie. Pie's not here. Uh, and some of these pieces are a little jacked up and broken. This one is missing the ends of his legs. Uh, like the poor thing hasn't been through enough already. And a couple of the Indians are missing feathers somewhere. I'm trying to find which one. One of them's got oh, this guy. There we go. Um, and then this pilgrim guy has a lot of paint wear on him. And this turkey over here. Which could be touched up with you know a coordinating magic marker so it's not that big a deal although I won't do that myself I'll let whoever buys it do that but I figure for five bucks I will attempt to sell this as a set if it doesn't sell as a set then I will put the nicer pieces up by themselves and I will definitely sell them I saw some of the pilgrim figurines go for I think 20 or 30 I think they sold the pilgrim um, man and woman for 20 or 30 plus shipping so um, I'll definitely make a profit, so I'm not worried about that. Hopefully I can sell the whole thing as a set, but we'll see. I think someone has them up on eBay right now, the whole set for like $2.50, which I'm not going to get close to that. I don't even think they're going to get close to that. Okay, my battery is running out, and this is about to shut off, so I'm going to come back. Hold. Okay, and I have two more quick things to show you. These both sold, and I'll be shipping out today. This is the last thing that I bought from this rummage sale. This was also on that jewelry, tchotchke, boutique table. And I saw it and I went, well that looks like a Limoges box. And I saw a $2 price tag on it. And I was like, are you kidding? So I turned it over and in fact it did say Limoges. So I got all excited. And then I realized that it was 2 bucks Because on the other side of the tape that I couldn't see was the word chipped. It does have a chip right here that's very hard to see, and it does have some paint wear right here. But I paid the two bucks. It has a lifesaver in it. This is a cruise ship. It is not the Titanic. They are two different um, designs by Limoges. The Titanic one will say Titanic on the side. So I put this up originally for 25 at auction, plus shipping. I had a bunch of watchers, but no bites. Then I put it up for 30 in my store with... Uh, plus shipping and sold it yesterday. So 
not a bad profit on a chipped Limoges box. So if you find one and it's, you know, not too beaten up and the price is right, buy it because there are always collectors who are willing to, you know, they don't want to pay the really high prices for the boxes, so they'll buy one that's a little um, messed up. And then finally, this just sold this morning. This is from the rummage sale haul that you will see in my next video. Um, but this is leaving today, so I wanted to show it to you. I did really well on a whole bunch of L'Air du Temps vintage um, perfume, body lotion, soap. And this set in particular was the best one. It has the uh, perfume, and then this is a 4-ounce dusting powder. I believe it's 4-ounce. I paid $5 for this, and I sold it this morning for uh, $99.99 plus shipping. So... Not too shabby. I will take that. So that's it, guys. That's it for this sale. I will be back to share with you the Moose Lodge rummage sale, which I did pretty well at. Um, not, you know, a whole lot of home. Well, no, I did have home runs. I had all these. Duh. <laughs> so I did do pretty well at that one. Um, but other than that, I did eh. So we'll see. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.